Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. This is Chad here with Projecta Gaming. I still need to get a video up of my projector setup. It's pretty sweet, and I will never game on anything else again because once you go to a 118 inch screen, it is really hard to go back. So you can see we started in Cathedral Ward, just hanging right from the lamp. We'll take the elevator up. We will go take on Upper Cathedral Ward and the two bosses that are up there. And I'm not going to fight these guys just because we are on a mission. Ewan wants to place bets on if I can make it to the top without taking a hit. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, he didn't hit me yet. He didn't hit me yet. And we did it. That is a first. Okay, open the door. With the upper cathedral ward key. Very conveniently named. Oh, he almost got me, but it didn't count because we're already up here. Okay, these guys, what do they do? I think they do Frenzy, so we'll get some sedative out. Okay, so kill that guy. We'll head up the stairs here to the bridge. Pick up some blue elixir there. And we're going to have some of these other guys that are... And he goes down. Come on. Ah. Guess she can't get a uh visceral attack off on him. While they're casting shit out of their lamp. I don't know where I pick up one of those lamps at. Seems like we were doing a lot more damage to the other guy. I guess because it was a fully charged attack. Who knows? Who knows? Let's grab the lamp here. And carry on. First we're going to head over to the right. There's going to be a literal crap ton of these guys. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. I'm just coming over here for the Great Lake Rune. We might as well. We're here. Watch out, they do shoot some stuff at you. Maybe it's poison. No, I think it's. I don't know. It's something. That is what we are sure of. Is something they do. Okay, this will be a shortcut we'll get in a minute. Not gonna bother with that one. And then over here, it's gonna be a lot of crows. And I think it's just a. Uh, Slug guys sneaking up on us. I want to say it's a kin cold blood or something like that. Can actually get a pretty decent amount of frenzied cold blood. I was close. Ah, close. Okay, up top we're going to have. Another one of those dudes with the giant scythe. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up just in case. Ah. 
Ah, we missed it. Oh well. <clears throat> Definitely doing a lot more damage with this threaded cane now. Alright, this next area is going to be pretty dark. There's going to be a sucky face guy over here. Let's get an easy visceral attack off on him. Pick up the choir set. And then head over to the right. There's going to be a wolf. As soon as you grab this item, he will jump out. Right, actually, I guess as soon as you walk away. Oh, he got us. That was cheap. Oh, that was lucky. Didn't even make the sound and we still got it. Okay, so pick that bloodstone shard up. And head on this way. Okay, let's see. I know we gotta go down the stairs. This door might open from the yeah other side. Okay, if you'll notice, those dudes up there, horse playing, takes out the light. You can see three of them right there. But I think there's actually more light. Oh, he came out the other side. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, I should have kept up my attack. Come on, dude. He's trying to kill you. What are you fighting back for? And they go down. How many was that? Was that four? Three. Oh, he dropped a bloodstone chunk. Very nice. Okay. I don't know if that was three or four. It's kind of hard to tell. The way they were sneaking up on me. We may run into another one. Okay, so that's the next pathway we need to go. Uh, I guess that was all of them. Um, there's going to be a scrambler right here. <clears throat> Make sure you get that one. Because he's going to have some bloodstone chunks. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Man, they take a lot of hits to go down. Okay, head up the ladder. Maybe, were we on the right side of this thing? No, we were not. That could be part of the problem. There's going to be a couple more of those dudes around. Let's see. I guess let's go this way first. I think this is going to take us that door if I'm not mistaken. And watch out because this guy is for sure going to start. Oh god. Let me out of here. Come on. Ooh that was a close one. Man that charged attack does like three times as much damage as just the normal swipe. Got a blindfold cap. I don't know why you'd put that on. You wouldn't be able to see where you're going. And there should be that door at the top. Yeah. Okay. We'll go back across. That's how they make dark uh, Bloodborne even harder. They put a blindfold on you so you can't see. Oh man, he snuck out of nowhere.
so watch out for that. Ah, come on, let me out. He got us. No big deal. We're still alive. rarely use my insight for anything so that's not a huge loss okay and you have to get that key to open is it this door no i think it's gonna be the door downstairs i don't know some door it opens come out here get the make contact gesture i believe that is it but we'll make sure <clears throat> and the only point basically of that gesture it lets you when we get to the pretty much the last area in the game we'll have a great one that we can kill and once you kill him we'll actually got to drop him first if you make that gesture before you kill him it's supposed to give you a rune the last time I tried it though I saw something moving there might be one more wolf down there. The last time I tried it, it did not work. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. What I did... Ah. Almost able to get a prostate exam on that guy. Yeah, but either way, we didn't get the rune. I don't know why. We'll try it again this this playthrough. And I think there's going to be one more of those sucky face guys. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that was so lucky. And he's done. Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. I'm not sure what that gives us. We'll go check it out at some point. Okay, that's pretty much it. Let's go grab this last item. Open up the door. Ritual blood. And this whole area overall is pretty small. You can get through it pretty quick. That's going to be the main door out to where that bridge is that we came on. And also the boss fights will fight the, uh, the first one and then very quickly after that we get to the second one. So, okay. Mista. Okay, we're at the first boss fight. This guy, there's going to be a bunch of those little dudes. And one of them's the boss. You don't know which one it is until he starts taking damage. And meanwhile, all the other little minions will keep attacking you. And then he eventually gets bigger. It's relatively straightforward. I'm going to bring out the bolt paper. Just because I'm feeling electric. Oh, that was terrible. I'm sorry. Let's just pretend I didn't say that. Okay. It was not him. None of those guys. At least they're not very fast. Okay. Is it one of these dudes? Ah, that's him. He's going to change any time now. Ah. Ah, jeez. I had the wrong guy selected. This is when it's a bad time to lock on. This is not good for business. Ah, 
still got me locked on. Let's just let's see if we can get him up here. At least kill some of these guys. And I'm pretty sure he'll just summon some more, but... Seriously low on health potions. Oh wow, he just one-shotted me. I don't even know what that was. One shotted. That must have been an arcane attack, and we almost had him too. Luckily we got that gate open, so it's only gonna take us like forty-five seconds to get back there. If that. Ah, oh, we only have five. We'll risk it. We will risk it. I gotta get those blood echoes back anyway. And I think... Um... I don't know. I couldn't remember if this plays out the same way. Yeah, so you pretty much gotta start from scratch, killing all the little... Get my blood echoes first of all. Really would hate to lose 40,000. So that's him. Uh, so he must gain that arcane attack after a little bit. That combo is just ridiculous. Alright, it's not looking good, guys. Not looking good at all. That was close. So I'm going to find a blood vial up here or something. Okay, I've got most of these guys up here. Did not work. Okay, I'm gonna go back and uh, get some more health potions, and then we'll we'll start. Okay, so we just stocked back up on blood potions.
Okay, he goes down. Communion rune. It's weird, sometimes you fight him, and it's just like you keep dying over and over and over. And then you go through and do the exact same thing the next time, and it's just like a walk in a park. It makes no sense. Either way. So you clearly see the best way... What the hell? Oh, it's just one of those things. That did not work. Come on. So the best way to go about killing him, just try to get as much possible damage as you can do before he transforms. Because you can see I got him below half health on that one. Okay, so we're getting snuck up on apparently. Oh, I think there's one more. Yeah, there's that one. Yeah, let's try to do as much damage as possible before he transforms. And, because he actually went down pretty easy. Whoa! I almost got my head crushed. Ah, he got me with a sedative. What the hell happened? I thought I... Oh well, let's summon this guy. Actually, no, that kind of made me mad. Wasted a vial. Okay, on this guy, he basically is not going to wake up until we get over there by him. I think this is the... I guess it's actually a chick, daughter of Ebriitis. And what you want to do is try to stay behind it, whatever it is. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is actually the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and target on, do a weak attack, just till it wakes up. Ah, wasted. Ooh, not doing much damage to this guy. You definitely don't want to be in front of him. But she keeps turning on us. Bolt paper did almost nothing. Missed us there. Oh, we somehow got all our health back and then of course lost it when he hit us, but actually a good spot to be in. I just wish I had some more stamina. Give this electricity. It's not doing anything. Okay, we're still wailing away. Got a weird camera angle there. Come on, he knocked us down. And our hunter guy died. So 
is just us now. Come on. That stamina. Come on, let me up. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got it. Oh shit, he apparently. Ah, oh, we're good though. It went down. We are good. It went down. So that was it for that one. You can see he was doing some arcane attacks. Luckily, we had that other guy summoned, so it didn't do too much to us. You just want to try to stay back behind those tentacles. And if anyone has found the answer to this, I haven't seen it anywhere online, what you could possibly do to where it gives you an option. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for this episode. That is Upper Cathedral Ward. The next episode, we're going to head to the second floor of the Letcher Build... Letcher the lecture building and then we will that will take us to uh, the loft area which is gonna be the last actual level of the game we'll have one two bosses to fight there also and then two more final ones so we've got four bosses total to go so that's going to be it, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, especially if you know about that thing, uh, that dead amygdala, what to do with that, if anything, uh, let me know below. All right, guys. Thanks.